Welcome to this second tutorial about SCM coding. In this tutorial I'm going to explain some basic structures while making a new Clio modification. This at the top will say to the compiler that it is a Clio file. So you have to start every Clio modification with this. Then you have to give uh, the thread a name because every Clio file is a thread. So we will name it example. You can you can name it whatever you want. The third thing I always write above my Clio modification is the opcode 0A95. If you press F1 then you will see the complete opcode. So in this case it's enabled thread saving. Well it is for example used so if you have a card generator that it won't appear twice after reloading your save game. So uh, these uh, three things I always uh, type before making my own Clio modification. At the end of every Clio modification you have to use opcode 0A93 which is and custom thread. That means uh, that uh, yeah that uh, the thread is eliminated. Uh, you have to do it always except when you are in a loop but I would recommend just uh, using that opcode always else the, uh, the game will crash. Now we have to imagine what we would like to have in game. I'm going to give an example of a pickup. So we want to create a weapon pickup at uh, Grove State. So we have to open the opcode search tool and search for uh, create pickup. Here you will have several uh, opcodes for creating a pickup. I will use the create weapon pickup because we want to spawn our weapon. This is the uh, the name of the pickup, so the variable in which it, it is stored. Uh, you can't use global variables or at least not your own so in, in Clio files you have to use uh, local variables for example one add. Then here you have to give up the model the model of the weapon in this case it's the M4 well it's quite a nice weapon so I will leave it like that. The group is another parameter and uh, one means that it isn't spawning at all 3 means that it spawns uh, only once, so once you picked it up it will never appear again. And 15 means that it will uh, appear multiple times. So I will take 3 for this example. Ammo means how much bullets you have, so I will make it 8000. And then there are uh, 3 uh, then there are 3 uh, coordinates which uh, you have to use from Sunny Builder. So, for example, I want to uh, I want it to spawn over here, right in front of the door. So I will go uh, standing there, and then I will use the Courts Manager. Always press Read if you moved in game. So and then press Copy so you can copy it into your file. So a uh, run, compile and copy. A uh, compile is that it will be saved only into your folder where you save the txt file and compile and copy means that it will also uh, compile it into the Clio folder where you have to uh, save the Clio file. So I will use the second one and then we'll, we can try it in game. So we will load our save file again. And right here in front of me is the M4. So 
so this is a very easy um, custom script so we can also make some other structures with which make the modification n even nicer so you can uh, make a label which is ac actually just a point in the code uh, a, a marking point in the code so where you can jump to so for example I will call this label just label so um, in this label you can do several things uh, to a label you can uh, you can jump to a label so you can here have some uh, code and then jump at label so it will return return to this so you will have a loop because it starts here goes there goes through the code again and jumps back to the label remember that if you have a loop in it so you always uh, have to have a weight in it so in every loop you have to put a weight even it's if it's zero so the code uh, has to wait has actually nothing weight so uh, you can use it a thousand it is a uh, microsecond so uh, you can uh, so a thousand is just one second um, but you have to do it always in every loop so this is one structure another uh, structure that is used a lot is the if and then jump if false at yeah in this case label of course because we uh, we have only uh, one label here after the if there has to be a condition and an example of a condition is uh, well, if the player is near something, or yeah, if the pickup is picked up, we will use that last latest example. So uh, to stay, uh, so that we can extend our modification. So uh, pick up, we can uh, find the opcode here. So pick up, and then the name picked up. So we will copy it into this if if and then one add because the name of the web uh, the pickup the weapon pickup is one add so we have to fill in here one add so um here if pickup one add is picked up then you have to jump at label uh, then if it isn't picked up of course then you have to jump to the label because this is this JF uh, means jump if false so if the um, pickup isn't picked up then you have to, to jump to label to the label named label again so if we want to, to test this um, there is no difference between uh, picked up or not because uh, the, uh, the, the threat has ended when you pass the jump if false and if you don't pass the jump if false you will wait until you uh, pass jump if false so there is no difference so to test it we have to ma make it uh, different after the jump if false so for example you can give the uh, player some money so we use the opcode search tool again to find this opcode where you give the player uh, some more money so uh, run compile and copy and we have to reload the save game then there is the um, the weapon I only have three hundred fifty dollars and now I picked it up and I have a lot of more dollars so um, this was uh, the second tutorial about SCM coding. I uh, hope you I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hopefully I will see you next time.